grow positive thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back to That Feel Good Vibe. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos and joining me on this journey. Make sure to watch this full video because I've got some great things at the end of this video as a little bonus, as well as just to be honest, it helps me if you watch the whole thing because YouTube algorithm likes watch hours. So let's get started. I am talking to you guys today about how to start a business, yes, even in a pandemic. I'll just say, with everything going on, that does not mean that you have to put your life on pause. So I am here to share with you guys a few tips on how to do that, how to start a business right now, some things that you'll want to think of before you start on this journey and some things that helped me as well as some things I wish I would have done in the beginning before starting my business. So the first thing that I want to talk about is just a little background on my story. I started a business with my husband Four years ago, we started a quality pre-owned auto dealership in a small town in Oregon. And let me tell you, it has been quite a journey. I have learned so much, you guys. There's so much that I wish I would have known back then that I know now, obviously. Also, I am a very creative person. And so I am constantly thinking of new ideas, different uh, ways to be growing personally as well as adding additional income streams into my life because I am a big believer in that having multiple streams of revenue coming in instead of just one okay so let's get to the very first tip for how to start a business even in a pandemic the first thing that I recommend doing before starting your business is asking yourself who is my target audience and what type of business am I trying to create? Is this an online focused business or am I trying to start a brick and mortar physical business where I need a retail space or a building or some type of place where I'm going to be operating my business? So understanding how it is that your business operates is going to be one of the most important things for you going forward. We had these things in mind, but let me tell you guys, we had absolutely no business experience. We had no money. We had nothing, guys. We literally started from negative. We started from back here. The quickest way to learn is by doing. Because even if you do it wrong, you'll learn, okay, that's not how I do it. Let's try this way. People have this fear of failure and things not going how they want them to. I have learned more from my mistakes and the things that have not worked than I have from the things that have. So please stop being afraid of failure. Ah, ah, ah. The worst thing that could happen is, okay, that didn't work out. We're back where we were before we started the business. Go get a part-time job or a, a job and start again, you guys. Build up your business, build up a different business going forward with the new knowledge that you learned from the things that didn't work before. And maybe you learned that that wasn't what you really wanted to be doing. Who is your target audience? If you're starting an online business, you can do that from anywhere. You don't have to have a set location, which is really cool. I think right now is a great time to start an online business. Maybe that's a YouTube channel. The next thing I wanna talk about is, what is your vision and your end goal with starting your business? Are you starting a business to buy yourself a job, work for yourself on your time? Or are you starting a business to build something that you can eventually step away from and have bringing you residual money without having to be the person there like you're gonna have to be in the beginning? Also, are you the business? Cause that's a big thing too. A lot of businesses that you start, you are the business. A doctor, a chiropractor, a massage therapist, a YouTuber, a vlogger, whatever it is, if you are the business, obviously you can't just hire somebody to come in and take your place because you are the service. So there's a big difference between those two things. There is no better time than now, which plays off of my last video where I talked all about the power of now. The main point of that video was do it now, guys, because it is very easy to get in your own head and say, 
Now's not the right time. I don't have enough money. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a pandemic. People aren't gonna like what I'm doing. Nobody supports or believes in me. My dad said he thinks I'm gonna fail. Blah, 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 blah. No doubt it is a lot more challenging right now to do certain businesses than it was before this whole thing happened. But that does not mean that you have to wait to start your business or give up on your dreams. It does mean that you have to get creative. Think of different strategies and ways that you can reach out to your market and advertise your product or your service with what's going on right now in the world. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, guys. That is one of the most important things that I can share with you in this video. Because if you don't believe in yourself, I'm not even talking about being confident fully in what you're doing because when you're starting out, you are not fully confident in what you are doing. You are learning, you are trying to figure out as you go, as I did, as my husband and I did, as we were starting our business. But you do have to believe in yourself and know that you are going to be successful. You are going to give it your all. Know that you can do it because if you don't think you can do it, you're probably not going to put in what it takes to accomplish the goals that you really are trying to achieve with starting your business. I believe in you. I hope you do too. Next, that ties into the next part of the video that I want to share. And that is you have to work, 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 work hard. You cannot expect to get to the top of a staircase without walking up those other sets of stairs. I don't know why I always use that analogy. I think I used that in my last video too. That doesn't mean that you can't go on an accelerated program. You can't take an escalator because there are a lot of people out there that get to be a lot faster than other people from point A. Some take the stairs, some take an escalator, some take an elevator. But either way, guys, you have to put in the work and take the steps to get there. You are going to have to be dedicated and be willing to give up some things right now that you have in your life, which may include TV, Netflix, video games, hanging out with friends all the time, whatever else it is that is taking a lot of your time right now. This hair today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next tip I want to share with you guys is the importance of social media and an online presence. If you're an online business, you have to have an online presence. But if you're a brick and mortar business, like what my husband and I have, it is very important to be on the social networks. So my husband and I started a business in a very small town in Oregon. We were very unsure when we started the company how it was going to go being in a small town and being an auto dealership where we were selling cars, starting a Facebook page and sharing Facebook posts as well as building an online community of our customers and our friends and our family and a following. Having a great website that you can share on all of your social media websites as well as where you're posting your service and products. For example, we use Craigslist, we use Facebook Marketplace. Making sure that your website is professional, easy for your customers to um, navigate. That's the word I'm looking for. Wow, brain fart. Should I say fart on my video? I just did. So anyway easy for your customers to navigate and something that is going to make them learn about you and who you are and what your business is and what you offer. The next tip I want to share with you guys are some different ways that you can start your business without having a lot of money in the bank or any money in the bank. We started our business with literally zero dollars. We were negative. That being said, that didn't stop us from starting our business going forward, even though it easily could have. We did not have an established business to where we could go get a business loan. It just wasn't in the cards for us. That may be in the cards for you, which would definitely be the better way to do it because you're going to get a much better interest rate, much better setup than what we 
had to do, which was use credit cards. I know there's a lot of people out there that would say not to do that and talk about not going into credit card debt and you shouldn't go into debt, which I do agree with guys, but it's different when you have personal debt and you're spending money on your credit cards versus having debt to start your business. That's just like, to me, going to college and taking out student loans for your education. And I will tell you, we would not have been able to start our business were it not for our credit cards that we had. If that is the only option you have, make a plan going forward to pay off that credit card debt in different ways. There's a lot of different ways to do that, which will probably be another video that I share with you. Another way that you can start your business without having any money or very little money to your name is through different companies like Kickstarter. If your business is a product that you are creating or inventing and sharing with the market, oftentimes what I have seen other people do, other entrepreneurs, is they will start a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe and share their idea with other people as a way to raise money for their business and for their venture. Another way would be to take out a personal loan. You can go to a credit union or a bank and ask for a personal loan. Oftentimes they will do that for you depending on your credit. Maybe in the beginning you know somebody who has a lot of money or you know of somebody who knows of somebody. There are actually a lot of people out there that do invest in startup companies and in small businesses. So that goes back to the believing in yourself part, guys, because if you don't believe in yourself, it's gonna be really hard to ask somebody to invest in your company or for money. And maybe you're not there yet and that's okay, which is why I'm sharing just a few options. Another option would be to save up for just a few months to have a little bit of cushion going forward I am also a believer in that. I do want you to think about starting now, even if that's just taking small baby steps like getting your business license, which I think, at least here in Oregon, is only $100. Whatever it is, I just want you guys to know that there are ways around it. You don't have to have a bunch of money saved up. If you do, if your business is something like that, use someone else's money, OPM, which stands for other people's money. Next, I wanna talk about the difference between a passion and your purpose. I think oftentimes we get confused. I am a creative person. I love music. I love art. I love photography. I love comedy. <laughs> See? Business. I love all these different things, guys, and I get distracted sometimes on what exactly it is that I am passionate about versus what it is that I feel my purpose is. A business that you start does not have to be your end all be all. Our dealership, for example, is not our only thing that we plan on investing our entire life into. It is one stream of income that we love and we enjoy that has gotten us to where we're at now so that we can start branching off and doing other things and really focusing on more things that we are passionate about. If you don't enjoy what it is that you are doing every day or what you have to do to build your company, you are not gonna be motivated to do it. And that just is the truth. Eventually that flame is gonna burn out. Also, I use that lighter for my sage. This video is almost 40 minutes, holy shit. I'm gonna have to do so much editing. Okay. I kept playing with my hair, so I decided to put it up so I couldn't keep playing with it and worrying about where it was at. So anyway, next, having support from your significant other is vital to the success in your company. If your person that you are creating your life with and sharing every day with does not believe in you or support what it is that you are doing, one of two things is going to happen you are either going to give up on your business, on your dream, or it's not gonna end up working with that person. Sorry to be blunt, but I am just telling you right now, 
That is very important. I will say that is the only person that you need support from. It doesn't matter what anyone else has to say. Oh, you shouldn't do it. You're not going to be successful. And that's scary. And that's risky. Oh my gosh, you're going to start a business during a pandemic? Do not listen to the haters. Goodbye. No. Do not listen to the crabs in the bucket trying to pull you down back to the boiling water because they don't want to do anything that is outside of their comfort zone and you do. I say that sternly because that's something that happens a lot of the times and you have to be very stern and build strong boundaries with yourself because there are going to be a lot of people that are going to doubt you or tell you it's not a good idea and don't you want stability and that 40 hour a week job so you can have the weekends off. All of those things are absolutely 100% okay if that is what you want in your life. There are a lot of people who want that and that is fine. But when you're trying to start and build a company and build a business, usually that means that you're taking a different path. Don't listen to those people because that's what they want. You have to realize that what you want is something different. We're very grateful because we got to start our company together and we get to work together every day, which is amazing. I will say that if you ever have the opportunity to start a business with your partner, there's nothing like it. You get to spend every day with the person that makes you the happiest in the world and it's really just something special. But either way, guys, having the support from him in what it is that I want to be doing is very important. If he didn't believe in me, if he didn't think I could do it, if he didn't support in what I was doing because he wanted me to do this or he thought it would be better if I did that, I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be starting this YouTube channel because there's a million zillion people that have YouTube channels online. Why would anybody want to watch me? Just saying. That's one of the little voices, you know, that's a lie and flies around in there. Also, I want to talk about mentorship and who do you listen to? One of the quickest ways to get to where you want to go is finding somebody who has already done what you are trying to do successfully and following in their footsteps. Mentorship is 100% the quickest way to getting to where you want to go. And that can be through listening to audios, reading books, going to seminars, following those people on social media, or maybe it's actually knowing that person and spending time with them face to face if you're lucky enough. Going into the grit and hard work aspect of building a business. For probably a year, it was just my husband and I building our company, which meant we did everything, everything from detailing our own cars to advertising, marketing, selling, accounting, cleaning toilets. And it was not easy sometimes, guys, but persevere and know that you are building towards your dream and eventually you will bring in other people to add to your team and your business so that you don't have to do those things anymore. And I will tell you, it is a wonderful feeling to be able to step more into the roles in your business that you want to be achieving. But just know in the beginning, you're probably going to have to do everything. And that means a lot more work. But if you love what you do and you make it fun, then it's okay. You must have patience and grit to get through the feel like we covered a lot of different areas and kind of went all over the place. So let's do a quick overview of the different tips that I mentioned in this video on how to start a business. Yes, even in a pandemic. First, what type of business are you creating? An online business or a storefront brick and mortar? And going into that, who is your target audience? What is your vision or your end goal with starting your company? Stop being afraid to fail. Mistakes are going to happen and you will learn from them. It is okay. If at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again.
Pick yourself up and try again, try again. And do not keep waiting for the perfect time. There is no perfect time other than now. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, guys. You have to be willing to put in the work and long hours and to give up some things to go up. The importance of having an online presence, whether that's through social media or your website and, oh, reviews. Reviews have been one of the biggest ways that we have built a strong customer base and business. We have over 150 five-star Google reviews right now. And I will tell you, it took a while to get there to where every single person that came in said, we saw your reviews and what everyone was saying about you and just had to come see you, even though we live four hours away. There are ways to start your business with zero dollars or negative dollars like we did it. Is this your passion and hobby or is this your purpose? Do you love and enjoy what you're doing? Having support from your significant other or partner, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, it's very important as well as blocking out all of the haters and people that are gonna doubt you and tell you you can't do it and doing it anyway because they don't know what they're talking about. You can do it. You absolutely can, but you have to believe that you can do it. Okay, this is the part where I told you I was going to be giving you a little something special at the end. So here it is. Hey guys, I'm Chris, Jan's husband, and she asked me to make a little guest appearance on here and uh, give my one of my biggest tips on starting a business and running a business. And the top tip I can, probably one of the top tips I can possibly say would be to have the innate ability to never stop moving. You always have to be moving forward. Um, anxiety, fear, depression, the failure of a business comes from when movement stops. And by movement, I mean your movement as a business owner. You have to continue pushing forward. It doesn't matter if everything's falling down around you. It doesn't matter if things are rising up above you. The number one key is you have to keep moving forward at all times. It doesn't mean forward financially all the time. So it might mean you need to move forward personally with your own goals. If you feel like your business is, is, is not doing as well as it can and you're showing up seven days a week, then start working out or start um, doing positive things for yourself. If you feel like your personal goals are slacking and the business is doing well, you need to keep moving forward in that area. And if everything's falling down around you, you still have to keep on moving forward. If yes. things are going great, you still have to push and you still have to keep moving forward. Absolutely. So so never ever stop moving and, and learn how to keep on hammering away day after day. The more often you're moving, the less the fear and the anxiety and the stress are going to attack you. You have to attack it and be on offense or you have to let it attack you and be on defense. And, and being on defense, you can't grow, you can't expand, you can't do anything on defense. Um, you, so you always have to be driving towards an impact and never ever stopping. Okay guys, you heard it. One of his most important tips when it comes to starting a business. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it, the camera's right here. <laughs> They need to put a camera right in the middle of the screen, like <laughs> yeah. behind the lens. Ooh, that's a good idea. Or the screen. So you can look at yourself yeah. and be that, looking at the camera. Yeah. It's a good idea. Well, or so you can look at people that you're talking to on the screen. Yeah, or that yourself. too. Yeah. yeah. Both of them, yes. All right. Have a great day, lovely people, and we'll see you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and comment on my video. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like me. I'm all about those good vibes.